What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy, Mikey. What's going on, Chris? What's going on, man? Walking Dead. This is episode yes. four. It's called Some Guy. Some Guy. We're only four episodes in, um, but this was a great episode. I enjoyed this thoroughly. What about you? <laughs> I enjoyed it as well. This is probably my favorite episode of the season so far. So far, yeah, I'm going to agree. Besides the uh, the second one. I kind of like that second one. Uh, no, the first one. I think I like the first one. The first then one is one. when they arrive at the sanctuary. Yeah, yeah, this one This one was great. Um, let's just get it out of the way. Shiva died. Sad, man. Isn't it, isn't it crazy how in, in all movies, not even just the show, it, it's very funny how you always feel the worst when the dog dies or the, the dog animal or dies. the cat or the or rabbit, fucking art attacks you know yeah oh my god please don't talk about our um, but he comes back, I, that so probably damaged me uh if you don't know yeah, what i'm yeah. talking about it's never ending story back in the 80s uh they used to that scarred me i think for a for a long time as a kid <laughs> when when poor artex gets gets uh yeah, but he comes killed. back to life spoiler he alert. does come he back, to, back life. to life <laughs> but yeah it's 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 funny how this cgi tiger this tiger head this animatronic head Makes you feel more than a Which lot they of use other both. Characters. Yeah, they use they use the CGI and they use the I, animatronic. It's only the yeah. front. Yeah, it's only the it's like front, his chest, like, the the neck up. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, it, it's it's very funny how you can be that feel that emotional for for that. Well, because it's a character, and if you and if you follow the comics, yeah. obviously we know what happens in the comics. It yeah, I told you. I told you. And... Is that okay? Can I say I told you so? No, yeah, you were right, man. I didn't I didn't <laughs> think they were going to do it this I early, felt but it. kind of yeah. felt. it. Kind of no, felt. good call, man. That was definitely yeah. a good call. So, yeah. so far, like you and I, we're we're, we're calling this this season so far with these with different things. Like, you know, I said they were going to be doing what they were going to what they're doing, right? How they were going to they were going to do these bunch of battles like for the first mm -hmm. couple episodes, and then it was going to kind of break down. You said that yeah. Shiva was going to die. Let's talk. Um, uh, may, uh, let me bring up my list here. I'm like, where's all my words? Are you prepared or not? Um. I want to say how, oh, so, you know, speaking of Shiva and Ezekiel, we finally got the rest of that story of him, that he was a zookeeper, mm -hmm. and he, without thinking, jumped in to save the bleeding tiger, and mm -hmm. ever since then, she's been his loyal companion, and, yeah. um, I, you know, once that, ha like, once that happened, like, once he's talking about her, I'm like, oh, she's done, she's done this yeah. episode, because you know well, that's what they do. Yeah, well, that's true, that's true. They don't true. talk and about the one thing or the relationship unless it's going to be, like, ended, that's... That was a great that's scene, a too, because that's when Carol and and Ezekiel were talking when they had like the little the little uh pre uh attack pre-war mm -hmm. and they were talking about who they chose to be and and like you said Ezekiel made that choice he even said I even thought about not going in and saving Shiva and he just and and he and he did it he decided who he wanted to be and that's why Carol was like are you prepared for this and he's, he's like, no, much like, <laughs> yeah, no, he, but I'm I don't know like... if he was prepared as, as you know, he's not that warrior that Carol is. Carol's a fucking monster. So that was a great scene to see between Carol and Ezekiel. And it, it's funny because I, you know, obviously I didn't know for sure that Shiva was going to bite the bullet, but there was so many scenes where you expected her just to pounce out. There was so many times where I'm like, oh my God, this is where, Ezekiel's gonna get and into trouble. Right, and then Jerry's and gonna it, pop. It, it, and yeah. then Jerry popped in. And yeah. yeah, so it was, you know, the acting. What do you think about the acting in this? I thought I thought Ezekiel was great, especially um with the speech in the beginning, too, I, with all the people and the the we are one speech. Yeah, I thought I thought it was amazing. I thought that I thought everybody did an amazing job. I think Carol, mm -hmm. I love Carol. I love when they have Carol not being like a, a baby, whiny baby, but this was great. And so I want to go back to that scene you were talking about real quick with Carol and Ezekiel when he's like, what did you, did you choose? You know, was it your choice to, you know, who to, to become this? And she was like, yeah. yeah, obviously realizing that they're both very similar. Like that's, that's one reason why they connect with each other. And I think in, in this situation, in this world, this post-apocalyptic place now, it's, it's, even more important to stick with the people that you are attuned with. And I think these, that's why these two people came together the way they did and how he, she's still with him and because they're very much alike. And I thought that was well, really cool. And no, I agree. I think she's going to play a big part of getting Ezekiel back to leading, you know, obviously in the end of the episode, we she's see what gonna happens. She's going to end up being the one, right? She's yeah. going to be the one because it was, it's crazy how the, the episode began and, and then ended. Like I said, we had the big speech. We had the, um, you know, we had Ezekiel 
climb out from the pile of 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 his men that that risked their life uh, that were just laying on top of him till the end where he returns back and only a few people return it's funny how i'm sure you thought the same thing you see you know the elder kingdomers and you see some of the young people that obviously didn't fight come out yeah. like they were expecting him to say this this um something this and something exactly off, uh, yeah. uh, and he just walks off so that to me really shows um number one how how ezekiel changed from the beginning of this episode to the end now uh and how he even told he even told jerry like i'm not your king i'm not your king leave me you know well you know that was the thing he yeah i, t- t- I want to piggyback off off of that because mm-hmm. you said he th- you know he changed from the one thing he didn't I don't think he changed per se. I think he kind of he stopped pretending. Like he said, basically, you make it to you, you fake it to you make it. That's that was that's his whole mm-hmm. motto. That's his whole persona, and he said it more than once through in this season. And he and then he even says it to her. She's like, "How do you know you're ready?" He's like, "Well, I'm, I don't, I don't know. I'm yeah. just, but I'm going to be." He's like, "I just assume." He goes, "I just like basically pretend that I am." And yeah. I just, I just step into those shoes. He's like, I have no, this is what I'm doing. Right. I have no choice, you know, but this did, you're right. You did see how it broke him down. Well, Gunther, which is that savior, the geeky savior. I was telling you uh, fucking, before we re- the, recorded, the pedo, man. Yeah. He, he reminded me of, of Jim Carrey. I'm a big in living color fan. So if you guys don't know what in living color was, it was one of the best sketch comedy great show. sketch comedy show yeah. and jim carrey used to have that it was just very similar he looked very similar to jim yeah, carrey. Yeah, yeah. and he does this grandpa jack mcgee um look it up it, on the tube it's, man. It's, it's it, yeah check it out it's so funny so right off the bat i'm like this guy reminds me of jim carrey but he was a great actor and he and the, the stuff that he was saying he was just spewing poison every little thing that that would hurt ezekiel he said he said yeah. you're a phony you're a fake there was one um, there was one line that he said, he's like, your people followed you and they're following you now. He's like, yeah, he goes, he goes, yet they're still following you. you yeah. Know? That was, that was cool. kind of, kind of, yeah, Dude, was this a was great, a, a this, shout out to the writing in that. This was, this was a great, this was an amazing contained episode. Yeah. Contained being that we only had a, you know, less than a handful of cat, well, a handful of characters, I guess. Mm-hmm. But from start to finish, the way it was edited, how they, they intercut with the, with the, you know, motivational stuff and then how showing all the people that went and then him having to literally crawl through his dead crew. Like, like that was just like, that whole thing was like, that's a zombie. Like, that's what we need. We need more of this stuff. Not only do the zombies look cool, but like, even, you know, he's crawling like, Oh Jesus Christ. And like the one is reaching back up for him and he's looking at him. And then the guy with the, the blonde hair with the short buzz cut, he sees him and he gets up and it's like, dude, the, when they, the dude, the, when they got the first one that got, that got up and walked away, just gets up with the with the one arm. It just gets up and just walks off. Doesn't even turn around to see it. It just gets up and just like walks off because it just like it just woke up, like that. It was such a cool episode. And then you have him getting broken down by Gunther. Then you have Jerry saving him, and Jerry's all bloody. And then you have Carol, who was who was a Rambo badass. How'd fucking, she get up in that ceiling that quick without anyone got hearing her? <laughs> She's right? a little monkey. She just fucking but leapt that was up like, there. That somewhere. was great. That was just great. And and not only that, but you had a little bit of story in there with the guys like, if, it's, if the guns aren't ready by the time I get in that go around this corner. And they're like, okay, okay. All right. Man, damn, bro. And then she wipes <laughs> him out. And then that whole, and then she, it's her against that whole, she's pinned down the two guys. Like, it was she's just, super smart, dude. She's super smart. She's, she's, she's cunning. She's freaking yeah. cunning, and I love it. And Melissa McBride does an amazing. She's continued mm-hmm. to make an amazing character, yeah. and that choice that she has to make, like yeah, it's a big choice. You're like, damn it, you know. But she, so she obviously she makes a choice to save Ezekiel, mm-hmm. and then who comes to save the day? You have dude, yeah. one of the coolest chase scenes that they've ever done on this show yeah. by far but also was, maybe in sweet. i've seen in a long time that was a very awesome awesome thing. The, the only thing that bothered me and it probably uh, you probably know what i'm gonna say but all right so the 50 cal holes that were being left in those bodies as, as essentially when when ezekiel climbs out right right these huge holes now rick is behind this guy in this Hummer and no, it was a Jeep. It was a Jeep 
I, no, the Don't Hummer move. was in front. Oh, the, the Hummer, was. oh, the truck, yeah. So he's the, the the Jeep is getting shot up, and that thing would have been taken out in a, in a split second. The man. amount just, of the amount of shots just, that it was it, kinda, that hit the front, yes, I agree. It would have it would have tore it, it that was front cool. up. Yeah. Oh my god. And then uh, finally, there was one little, psh, and you see the radiator, you know, yeah. broken or whatever. But yeah, no. The the best part of the scene is when you're kind of like, "Where's Daryl? Where's Daryl?" And then Rick just pulls away, and then Daryl comes up with the yeah, gun and, and so shoots good, the guy man. in the back. Yeah. It was. It was. Um. You know, we only got them for a split second. So this. But they got very... the guns, man. But that's it. You know what? It's like yeah. we're not. It right now. It doesn't seem like we're gonna do this. This. Or maybe it is. I was gonna say it does seem like we're gonna do this 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 loss gain loss gain thing, but there was a, a yeah. huge loss in the fact that pretty much all of the kingdom's warriors got are done, out. but yeah. they got the gun. So obviously happy ending on that front. And man, it was just look, it was just it was just a really good episode. The whole mm-hmm. the whole swamp thing, like it was. Ten- here's the here's the best part. It was tension filled. Yeah. Every moment was tension filled from Carol, you know, hiding in in the building herself, the, Ezekiel getting, you know, crawling away from a horde of zombies being dragged by that guy, Jerry and them trying to get through that, the, the, the toxic waste with all the toxic waste zombies. Yeah. Like every moment was tension filled, punctuated by Shiva saving their lives and dying, yeah. punctuated by that the tension filled car chase with it ending where Rick gets out with the, a little the little bit of levity where he's like you look like shit you yeah. know, he, and he just looks at him like whatever hey, man, we, we, got, we, we guns, got the guns know? yeah I, I I mean I want I really want more episodes like this like mm-hmm. like take what you've done here and put it in something else because this was yeah. this was this was such a great episode um the next episode now I'm not too sure about it because. It's we're talking about the saviors Mm -hmm. and, you know, you're going to look back at the council at his generals now, his lieutenants or whatever you want to call them, how they're deciding what they're going to do. I'm really not interested in those characters. I don't give a shit what and Negan and Gabriel. I don't to Mike. I don't care, dude. Like I looked at that, like I watched this episode and then I saw the coming attractions and I'm like, it's going to be so boring. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't think it's, you know, I actually enjoyed, I am actually excited for next week because you saw everybody sitting around the table and like someone had to have known what, what you know, we, there's an, someone in this room yeah, that, if, that okay, gave them. If that's going to be so the case. I'm, sure. I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what, you know, what's in store for next week, you know? I don't. All right. uh, yeah, man. I mean, I mean, obviously, I am too, but not. But after this episode, I just want more episodes like this. This is. Amazing. Listen, I can't complain. I mean, I've enjoyed this. It's funny because I've enjoyed this season so far. I know you, you've enjoyed this season. Yeah, it's, hell been, yeah. it's been action packed. Yeah, and hell it's, yeah. And that's one of the big knocks on this show. Even last season, we had some action-filled episodes, but there was so so much filler in there sometimes, and some yeah. of these episodes that you're like, what the fuck. People would complain about that, and yet I still hear people complaining about this. Well, there's I don't really compl- enjoy. I'm like, what man. the hell do you want? Whatever, man. Exactly. Like, listen, you're eight always- years into a show about zombies. What do you want? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Listen. Listen. You know, it. In the end, I've. I can't say enough about about season eight so far, and I'm excited to see what happens. I mean, what do you want? You know, what do people want? You, no one's ever happy. It's like the people that complain about the heat in the summer and complain about the cold in the winter. Yep. You know what I mean? It's like there's no, you know, there's no Can't really anyone. Look, it. look, exactly. it, all that matters is that you and I like it. Our fans, <laughs> who are also yeah, fans yeah. of the show, obviously like exactly. it. Exactly. Let so us know what you guys think. Yeah. yeah. Let us know what you guys think. Um, you have any questions about about uh, that? Oh man. I mean, I'm done. I'm ready yeah, to I, go. I'm ready there to was go. one. There was one thing. I mean, I kind of already mentioned it with the Ezekiel thing, and how do you think he's going to kind of get out of this, and will he lead again, kind of thing? And I think he will. Um, like I said, I think Carol will be one of those big um, influences on him to say, "Hey, listen, dude, you got to get back on that horse," kind of a deal. Um, yeah. You know, he lost his queen in a sense. You know, he lost yeah. Shiva, and uh, I think Carol's going to be a big part of this. So I'm ex- excited to kind of see. Maybe there'll be even a romance sparked up with with her and him, but. There was one thing. All right, during the when when um, Ezekiel and Carol and, and Jerry are trying to get through the swamp, and, and you see the, the the toxic walkers and all that kind of stuff, they kept the camera panned on one of those toxic containers for a second. It said like um, dangerous substance or something on it. For a split second, I'm like, 
all right, what is that? Is that me giving us a hint of the beginning of the apocalypse? Like, was it very nightmare, oh, night of the living dead kind of a thing where, you know, you open up the, the containers that the armies, you know, the, the container falls off the back of the truck, rolls down into a ditch and, and finds its way. some water. Yeah. yeah. So it, for a split second, I'm like, Dude, are they hinting anything well, to the us? Well, only, the only, re- the only but, thing that I would say to that is we have Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah. Meaning that, it spread, it was across the country, so how is one, one little thing, I know, barrel in I, the woods going to be, yeah. I don't think that it is, but I just thought it was really cool. I'm like, wait, what is, what are they? I think, I, I took that as it was, they were just showing it because, and then they showed that those specific zombies, walk- zombies yeah, they yeah. Were all sludged yeah. up but i thought i just yeah. thought that would have been that would have uh, been cool. yeah i, I know yeah it's a good, note. It's i'm good, like, it's oh, good dude, yeah like your mind's little... in the right place man yeah so good but man. overall let's see let's see what happens yeah let's good happens stuff good week. stuff guys if you want to get to us uh mikey what can they do they they already know don't they don't <laughs> they already you know yes don't you of course third person pod on youtube and all the social medias on instagram and on facebook leave your comments post your comments post your memes whatever your pics whatever you like to tag us like, whatever you like to do. do yeah we we love to hear from you guys so so definitely hit us up on on all those sites right right below in the comments there and let us know shoot us a like tell a friend you know tell, what I mean? tell a friend if you guys are News. if you guys are listening to us and you haven't seen any of these videos it's really just to it to it you know two idiots just talking about it on camera but hey you know what hey. you can watch people talking whatever you can watch it on That's youtube right. um i do want to thank everyone on youtube that leaves comments Absolutely. and watches thank you so much and everyone on instagram that follows us and, and comments mm. and and you know definitely tag us on those things and you know yeah. we, we love we love looking at all the other stuff that comes on there so uh look just uh thank you thank you everybody for the subscribing and watching yeah, and following. It. it's, it's good it. stuff so thanks for hanging out with us let's continue that discussion down below and uh, we will see you guys on the next episode of Walking Dead. So thanks, guys. Later. See ya.